Day 364. It's almost the start of a new calendar year, and this is usually the time when one sits and reflects on the past and makes resolutions on how to chart the way forward. My New Year's resolution is to save more. Welcome to another edition of Jamaica Magazine. I'm Adrian Atkinson. Stay tuned. I'm deeply concerned by the number of Jamaicans killed on our roads. Safety on our roads is our responsibility. Jamaicans, drivers, passengers, motorcyclists, and pedestrians, slow down. Observe the rules of the road. Be courteous. Drive defensively. Be considerate. Buckle up. Wear a helmet. The careless overtaker is only rushing to the undertaker. Not observing the rules of the road could cost you your life and that of your loved ones. I encourage all road users to take special care as we use public thoroughfares. The life you save may be your own. Remember, your family wants you to arrive alive. Part of the New Year's resolution for the government is to end gender-based violence. And the Responsible Ministry has launched a 10-year National Strategic Action Plan to achieve this objective. Find out more next. It is no secret. Jamaica experiences reports of domestic violence. Sometimes he beat me in front of the picnic them. There is no excuse for abuse, and the government has implemented a plan with the hope of beating domestic violence out of the country. The data on gender-based violence says much. In Jamaica, one in every four women is abused. Globally, one in every three women is a victim. Coupled with that, Domestic violence has no regard for age or status. Men are also victims, so too girls as young as age 15, who are being physically, sexually, and emotionally abused in intimate partner relationships. With year-on occurrences of all forms of gender-based violence, the government has been courting several plans to eliminate the act. Finally, a perfect relationship has been formed and has given birth to a 10-year plan for ending this cowardly act the National Strategic Action Plan to Eliminate Gender-Based Violence in Jamaica, NSAP GBV for short. The period is 2017 to 2017, 2027, 2017 to 2027. And that plan is predicated on the due diligence framework, which allows us to have five strategic priority areas. The first one is prevention. How do we engage key stakeholders? so that they become a part of the solution and not a part of the problem. A major component of the prevention strategic area is the implementation of a no excuse for abuse social media driven campaign. We are very fortunate to have been blessed with a three year MOU through our partner UN Women that will allow us to do a six month campaign. We think that this campaign should make a huge difference and we plan to have it rolled out in a very robust manner across communities and engaging different players at different times. The second strategic priority area is protection. That looks at how do we ensure that once the person becomes a victim, there is the adequate provision for shelter, there is provision for psychosocial support, and rehabilitation. How do we look at the perpetrator as well? The third priority strategic area covers the investigation, prosecution and enforcement of court orders. So once a person has been a victim, becomes a victim, what sort of mechanisms are in place to ensure that the victim gets redress and gets compensation if that is what is required? And if there is a protection order that is required, how do we ensure that the protection order is taken out and that it is enforced? And if there is an issue with compliance, which happens in some cases, 
where the perpetrator decides to violate the protection order, how do we ensure that it is enforced? And how do we ensure that the victim has protection? The fourth strategic priority area looks at compensation, reparation, and redress. How do we ensure that victims and survivors have adequate compensation for redress for wrongs that have been done? And how do we compensate? What forms of redress are appropriate? What is affordable, given our limited fiscal space? The fifth and final strategic priority area is data collection and the systems by which we have a management of data. Gone are the days where persons talk from their heads about gender-based violence because we now have a survey findings, a set of survey findings that's put together in a report. It's called the Women's Health Survey and that survey for us is very important. Released in 2017, the Women's Health Survey was conducted by the Inter-American Development Bank, UN Women, and the Statistical Institute of Jamaica. It provides facts, not anecdotal information, about the violence some persons face. Eliminating gender-based violence will not be a band-aid fix. With the help of local and international partners, government has crafted a research-driven program to involve major stakeholders. The goal is simple, yet revolutionary. To bring an end, once and for all, to the scourge that has crippled families and impacted our country, psychologically and financially. Protect Jamaica, plant your grass. Help us become more resilient to climate change impacts. Protect Jamaica, plant a tree. It improves the island's national biodiversity. Trees may be fruit, ornamental, or timber, but must be native or suitable to the area's natural landscape. Join the Jamaica Million Tree Campaign and help to plant one million trees by June 30, 2019. This is a call to action by the National Environment and Planning Agency. This past year, the Oteria's fishing village in St. Anne underwent major transformation. So be sure to check it out on your next visit to the scintillating parish. For many years, one of the major complaints they had was the, that the fishing village was unsightly. Fast forward to today, the newly renovated Ocherius Fishing Village in St. Anne is now open and a dream come true. The Fishing Village is the location for our, the fishers in Ocherius. They were here when there were no hotels on Ocherius. They had the full run of the beach. The Fishing Village was also a location where the, the, those fishermen who were paid re remain now Applied their trade and their, their descendants also had their little vending operations going on here. It was also a place where Jamaicans, people from Ocho Rios, came to buy their fresh fish. The village now serves as an attraction and cultural melting pot to both tourists and locals. Today is a great day. The fishermen are here to work, they're here to get the job done, they're here to sell a lot of lobster and fish and bami because it's all about fisherman food. It's not about stuff that have no bearing on fisherman. They are going to bring their culture to us, right Fisherman Dave? They're going to bring their culture to the people. They're going to cater to locals alike. They're going to cater to foreigners. They're going to show you what an Escovite fish is all about. They're going to show you what makes us a true people. Built by the Port Authority of Jamaica in collaboration with the Urban Development Corporation, the complex has 18 shops for craft, gift and convenience stores, bars and restaurants, among other things. The village also features an entertainment area and a lounge for fisher folk. My sincere thanks to the UDC and the Port Authority of Jamaica 
as mandated, you are in the business of geophysical development. But beyond that, and more importantly, and for which recognition must be given, is your contribution to the social and economic transformation of Ocherios. The Ocherios Fishing Village Complex, with the transformational impact that it will have, again lays the foundation for new opportunities. It will unlock our potential as a town and unleash the creativity and determination of our fisher folk. This is all about creating a facility that embraces fisheries, industry and commerce, and tourism. This is a manifestation of the level of collaboration and cooperation that we need to move tourism forward and indeed all the attendant support systems that make people want to come here, stay here, spend their money with us and interact with our people. We are coming from the old Fisherman Beach where we never used to have much facilities like bathroom, like, you know, proper facilities for the beach. Well, thanks to Port Authority, you know, and some great people, you know, Jamaica Tourist Board and lots more, we have a new and improved Fisherman Beach right now. Well, um, the beach wasn't that beautiful now. They enhanced it by these uh, pretty shops, but it's good to see local in the shops. So that's beautiful, and we love development here at the Fisherman Beach. There is absolutely nothing simple about a fisherman. They are an incredible set of people who endure bad weather, who endanger their lives at times, very frequently, who has a sense of resilience and a sense of ambition and a desire to elevate themselves. And thank God today, the government of Jamaica has facilitated all that is required of them to move on and make successes, not only of their immediate profession, but in business at this location. This place is a dream, and we're gonna keep it a dream. And it's a reality that we guys have dreamed for for years, and it's no payoff. Do not leave valuables such as gifts, laptops, and cell phones in plain view in your car. If you have to leave these items in the vehicle, put them in the trunk. This will decrease the likelihood of a car break-in. It was a great year for Stacy Taylor, who was awarded the Mathematics Teacher for 2018 by the Ministry of Education. Next year, it could be you. While you put your plans together to achieve this, let's find out more about what this meant for Ms. Taylor. Oh, wow. That moment when I won. <laughs> um, it, it, it's a coveted award to be known as the mathematics teacher of the year, something that no one can take lightly. And it has helped me to grow as a teacher. And it has also helped me to become a resource person for my school in that having the knowledge that I have gained from this competition, I'm now better able to coach or to assist the other teachers in my school and hopefully in the region one day. Stacy Taylor, made Hatfield Primary and Junior High School proud when she accepted the 2018 National Mathematics Teacher of the Year Award. The dedicated educator came by one of our Think Tank sessions recently and shared how she was able to cop this coveted award. My philosophy as it relates to teaching mathematics is that it's not just about a body of knowledge, but it's more so about the process. So for me, I have my students discovering what I want them to learn. So no longer am I just telling them, but they are discovering. Also, I take into consideration that every child learns differently. 
So at the initial stages, I needed to find out how my children learn and so forth cater to their differences in learning. So one of the main strategies that I would have been using is what we call differentiated instruction. That is where you cater to the learning styles of the different students along with using manipulatives. So manipulatives is really just hands-on things that they can use to build their own understanding of a particular concept. Now Stacy, who has over 18 years of teaching experience, is looking forward to an all-expense paid trip to the 2018 National Council of Teachers of Mathematics Conference. The April 26 event in Washington, D.C. is part of her prize package. I hope that it will bolster my ability to teach mathematics. It will help me to come back now and to share what I have learned. And the most important thing I want to learn is how can I be a better teacher so that I can better my students' performance. And what is our appeal to other math teachers in Jamaica? We need to always aim at having the students form their own understanding of the concepts. So we need to move away from lecturing the children. We need to move away from simply telling them the formulas. Let them discover it for themselves because once they discover it for themselves, it will never leave them. Continue to let the students discover. Let them have fun. Keep them engaged and we will see a change in performance. Jamaica Social Investment Fund, JSIF, celebrating over 20 years of investment in community development. JSIF has forged relationships with international funding partners, as well as private and public sector entities. Let us continue to invest to reduce vulnerabilities. Let us build our social capital and resilient infrastructures to ensure full participation in Vision 2030. JSIF, investing for community development. It just makes sense that while we make hay as the sun shines, we should also save for the rainy days. Because even as we all strive to rule our own destiny, life holds some inevitable and unexpected outcomes for which we should be as prepared as possible. Get the help you need now through the National Insurance Scheme. The NIS offers financial security when it's most needed to all gainfully employed or self-employed persons who contribute to this scheme. Whether it's loss of income due to injury on the job, sickness, retirement, and or death of a breadwinner, there will be help waiting for you and your family. So if you are over 18 years of age and working, visit your nearest Ministry of Labor and Social Security parish office and get registered under the NIS. Start making your contributions in order to reap the numerous social protection benefits when that rainy day occurs. Email prunit at mlss.gov.jm or call 876-922-8000-13 for more information. I know many of us never got to go, like myself. But one of the biggest things that happened in Portland this year was the Charlestown Maroon Festival. While you are booking your next visit to a sofa yard, which you may be doing right now, let's take a look back at the last festivities. June 23 will forever be an important day for Maroons in Jamaica. It's the day when all roads lead to the Charlestown Maroon Village in Portland for a very special occasion. to recognize the day Kuawad signed the treaty which is the 23rd of June and also to honor our ancestor by you know putting that out showing that we appreciate what they um, what Kuawad done for us and so one of the things that we do is um, educate people about Kuawad so if you look inside you can see different billboards with um, Kuawad information on them different things setting up um, as a celebration or, or a come together for Kuawad or for the victory that Kuawa had allowed us today so we can be free. This year's 10th staging of the conference was held from June 21 to 24 under the theme Maroons and Indigenous Peoples Towards a Sustainable Future. It's an annual conference, right? It's really anchored on June 23 and then we generally have 
um, yes, two to three days around it of scholarly panels and reasonings, cultural performances, um, as well as you know, a variety of different activities for children and family. This July 23, the first activity of the program was an opening ceremony and attain a call to the sacred directions. Then it was time to present gifts to the ancestors. Come and see. We have come for the temple altar to say we know you're alive in the world of spirit. We know that you're alive in the world of the ancestors. And today we honor you. And now I am in the wellness area where there's yoga happening and some youths are full joy in that. You're now creating a triangle with your body. You're pressing the hips up. You're reaching your chest back. So we make body products and some foods under the brand Arawak Gourmet, which is taking old stuff that we know into a new gourmet style, like our jackfruit preserve and our mango coconut preserve, plus we use authentic Jamaican ingredients to make soaps, body butters, body oils, lip butters. And what are these products? Coffee, um, ganja, honey, charcoal, turmeric, neem, um, lemongrass, lavender. And if patrons ever got tired of the Portland Riverside, a wide variety of craft stalls, information booths, and performances were available in Asafi Yard. Today we are talking about the spiritual uses of plants. And so we are talking about using baths, used as washes for houses, using for smudging, for cleansing. For example, in a bath, you can put rosemary, you can put ceracy, you can put leaf of life, mint. Depends on what you want it to do. But a lot of the, um, the medicines that Mother Earth has provided for us can be used for cleansing. And just when you think it can't get any better, a whole variety of natural crops and produce were there to choose from. From fruits to warm, freshly prepared meals, What's a maroon festival and conference without authentic Jamaican food? Well, I present you with this jelly, my brother. All in all, it was a day filled with fun, food and fellowship for the young and old. It involved learning, supporting and indulging in a rich cultural heritage. This is my third year at the festival and um, I'm just very proud to see that this has been going on for 10 years and it's, it's constantly growing and it's constantly giving you good vibes and so I wish it all the best and I advise anyone who is in Jamaica this time of year to come on out to the Maroon Festival. Thank you all for continuing the celebration of this rich and vibrant part of our history, our heritage. And be rest assured that at the Ministry of Culture, we will continue to give support because we understand that we must safeguard the vestiges of our history. What is the National Identification System? The new national ID will for the first time give Jamaicans one ID that is trusted and verifiable. This means easier access to government services like PATH and NIS. It will be easier to do business with the government and the private sector. Eventually, there will be no need to walk with more than one ID. Support the new national ID. Get the facts at nidsfacts.com or on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at nidsfacts. A New Year's resolution is a tradition where people resolve to change an undesired trait or behavior in order to accomplish a personal goal or otherwise improve their lives. Here's how to really make it happen this year and make the changes stick. While you always want to aim big, the best strategy is to think small and personal. When setting your resolution, keep in mind that the only one that is truly committed to your success is you. 
So stop worrying about what other people think. You should be doing and making resolutions based on what is important to you. Be your best selves in 2019. It can help to make Jamaica the place of choice to live, work, raise families and do business. Keep we island clean, so clean. From the peaks to the beach, so clean. Not a tea up Jamaica, please don't do it. No dash, no paper, no dash, no plastic. Dispose your garbage responsibly. No know how to recycle. Learn it quick and if you drop it, better pick up every piece of it. Plastics last forever. Don't forget the bits. Cause when them touch the street, them end up in at the sea. Collect pan the reef where they fish them feed. And when you want seafood, I eat your eat. Keep the island clean. So clean. From the peaks to the beach. So clean. No dirty up Jamaica. Please don't do it. Not a tea of Jamaica, not a tea of Jamaica, not a tea of Jamaica, not a tea of Jamaica. It's a new beginning. New day is dawning, it's time to arise. We have the gene of achievement and pride. Bold new beginning, time for action. We have the spirit to fight on. This is Jamaica. This is our land. We have our future with God in our plan. We'll play our part building this great nation. This is Jamaica. This is our land. Let us make every effort to forge unity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And resolve to work hard for prosperity leaving our children a legacy of hope breaking the shackles and snatching the old this is jamaica this is, jamaica. This is our land this is our we land. have our future with god in our plan we'll play our part oh, yeah, in yeah. this great nation Thanks for watching another edition of Jamaica Magazine. Do join us again tomorrow and we'll do this all over again. Until next time, send your feedback on today's show to jamaicamagazine at jis.jov.jm. Also follow us on our social media pages, Instagram, Facebook, and of course there's Twitter. Download our app on your Apple and Android devices. And you can also visit our website, jis.gov.jm, for more information. On behalf of the entire production crew, I'm Adrian Atkinson. Thanks for watching. This has been a production of the Jamaica Information Service, the voice of Jamaica.